What's up guys, Ruxin34 back and today we have another mystery cube opening from Target. These were pretty awesome last time and I saw more of them and I figured, look, Invasion of Chaos, Blue Eyes White Dragon Packs. Some of them have both. I mean, there's two in each pack, so they might have both, all have both. So that's pretty cool. I was like, we're gonna, let's pick this up. And it was the same time I picked up those Invasion of Chaos blisters, which hopefully you've seen that video by now craziness so what yeah check this? that one out if you haven't it'll be up in the eye and the giveaway for this video i'll be giving away these three cards all you have to do is like the video be subscribed and let me know what you think about these mystery cubes not every mystery product because a lot of you guys last time were like i hate mystery products and it was like you didn't watch the video before you noticed that these were actually really nice actually i mean they had some solid value so let's go ahead and get started and open this thing up these are really annoying to open but having a knife does help. So let's see if we can get in here without too much trouble. You cut on along this part, it usually works pretty good. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna crack these open at the beginning to kind of save time. And we'll do all the mystery cards and everything. So check these out. Okay, maybe these are the little bit of a different variation. Because we just got two LOB packs. We got a Breakers of Shadow pack. And we got the IOC pack. So we got three legacy packs. Somebody was telling me after the last video that there were different versions. Oh, we got a... Uh, this is the Dark World deck. That's pretty awesome. That's a nice deck. I know that one's always pretty decently valued. And an Invasion of Chaos. So, um, yeah, some of these do have three legacy packs, which is pretty cool. Some of you guys were telling, about, telling me about it after the last Mystery Cube video. So that's definitely... Uh, a good reason to buy them if you're in, if you're into legacy openings it's only 20 bucks for the cube and usually you have to pay seven bucks each for a legacy pack if you buy the legacy packs on their own so seven or seven or eight it depends and eight dollars is obviously a lot for a legacy pack because you usually don't get too much value out of legacy packs other than just the pure enjoyment of opening it which is obviously the main point but if you're looking to save a little bit of money and you want to open up your legacy packs anyway then you can open up these for a little bit cheaper. Especially since Invasion of Chaos and LOB are the options. I mean, those are pretty good ones. So here we go. All right, we'll go over those cards later. We got Invasion of Chaos. We got a Speed Duel deck. So that's definitely not one that you want. Speed Duel is not too good. Some people, some of you guys were telling me that you got Speed Duel, and I was like, ooh, that hurts. So you got another Breakers of Shadow and two LOBs. So overall, the packs are pretty awesome. Lots of legacy openings coming in this. So I know you guys are going to enjoy it. Legacy is definitely... It's definitely the most fun for me. I do enjoy new stuff, obviously, because I open it up all the time. But the legacy stuff is where it all began. You can pull that LOB Blue Eyes White Dragon, stuff like that. I mean, you can't go wrong with that. Here we go. Let me get this. How do we get this thing open? Okay, we're getting close. We're getting close to the last one. Yeah, so sorry for the uh, little bit of a delay. We haven't started opening it, but I'm, get, I'm getting these open now so we can do all the opening in a row, make it easier. There we go. All right, last cube has been opened. We've got more Legend of Blue Eyes. I mean, talk about awesome. Two Legend of Blue Eyes packs. I mean, people will buy those reprint packs for like 10 plus dollars too, so that's definitely good value. Let's see what we got. Another Dark World deck. That's not bad. Definitely better than Speed Duel. And then Invasion of Chaos. So if you think about it, you're getting these legacy packs. You're getting three legacy packs, which normally would cost you $21 for 20 bucks. And then you also get another pack and a deck. So sometimes it's a Speed Duel deck, but Speed Duel is still worth a little bit at least. Okay. Here we go. Let's check out our mystery cards. These are foils and rares. I think they give you four, three or four, three, maybe it's three foils and four rares. Let's see. Dijin of rituals trebuchet we got oh that's a that's a cool card from prc1 here are our rares these are going to be all mixed up we got a black wing steam the cloak dragons of legend guardian yatos from dragons of legend wait drlg that's dragons of legend right wow that's actually pretty cool Dijin of rituals we got some rares We've got a limited edition from the 10, Gaga Mancer, Gaga Mancer, two in the same one, and then four rares. So, not the best foils, but I've seen a lot worse before, so that's that's not bad. Okay, as for our packs, so first of all, we got the three decks here. 
So two out of the three were decent decks and nothing to be upset about. Not as good as last time when we got that epic, what was it? It was the dude deck and then I, I saw somebody get a Yugi's legendary deck. So those were really nice. Here we go, we got Blue Eyes White Dragon. Look how many Blue Eyes White Dragon packs. Six Blue Eyes White Dragon packs. Three Invasion of Chaos packs. I mean, we are rolling in the reprints. That is awesome. And then three Bosch packs. So let's go ahead, knock out the Breakers of Shadow. See if we can pull something cool out of here. What is it? Solemn Strike is Secret Rare in here, I think. We'll pull that. That's pretty cool. Cosmojo Secret Rare right off the bat. This used to be like a $15 card. I'm not sure if it is still decent or not. I remember pulling this in first edition back in 2018, and I was like, cool, a $15 card. At that time, that was a lot. I mean, it still is. It still is nice to pull a $15 card. So starting off with a secret rare, cannot complain about that at all. That's the highest rarity in this set, so very nice. Let's see what we can follow it up with. Despot, double zero. Master Pendulum, the Draco Slayer. It's a cool card, super rare. Wait, Star Destroying Kaiju, that's a decent card, I think. Let's set that aside. I think that's a decent card. The Jizakiri or whatever his name is. Okay, one more Bosch pack. Let's see what we can pull. Solo, Melodious. Ka Wait, what is this? Oh, that that brings me back to Duel Links. When I was running that deck in one of the uh, big tournament things that they had, it was like you'd play for like three straight days, and I made like top... What was it, top 100 in the U.S.? Something like that. That's pretty good. Cosmo, Sword Trooper. So, yeah, at one point, I, I was dueling, and I was not doing that bad. Toon Buster Blader, that's cool. But that was a grind. You had to, really had to grind to do well in that. Okay, Cosmo, Sword Trooper, super rare. Okay, Legacy Packs. We're on past the opening of the cubes, past the uh, Breakers of Shadow. That's what I'm trying to say. Now we have this, this pack is killing me. Blue Eyes, White Dragon, and Invasion of Chaos. Let's start off with a Blue Eyes pack and pull the epic Blue Eyes, White Dragon. I have not pulled a Blue Eyes on camera ever, I don't think, from LOB. I've pulled one once out of a reprint pack, but not on camera. Terra the Terrible. Okay, True the Fire Knight, Sandstone, Nimikuro, Tripwire Beast, and Basic Insect. So nothing in that one. Let's do an Invasion of Chaos. Can we pull the Blackluster Soldier? I've never pulled the Envoy of the End before. We have pulled the Chaos of Bird Dragon, if you guys have seen that video. So here we go. Cannonball, Spear, Shellfish, Soul Tiger, Yellow Luster Shield, Chaos Rider, Gustav. So there we go. There is a super rare, not guaranteed out of the old pack. So that's pretty cool. Chaos Rider, Gustav. We got a Manju of the 10,000 Hands. There we go. And then Invasion of Chaos video, we opened 12 packs and got none of these. So that's actually really nice. A nice 3 or $4 common. Let's go back to a Blue Eyes White Dragon pack. Let's attempt to get one of the big four, Exodia Head, uh, Dark Magician, Blue Eyes White Dragon, or Red Eyes. Here we go. Yumi. Mammoth Graveyard. Celtic Guardian. Okay. Super rare. There we go. I seem to pull Celtic Guardian a lot, especially out of the reprint packs. I've pulled him a lot, but still a super rare. I will take that. Hain Hain, Yumikuro, Tripwire Beast, Basic Insect, and Vile Germs. So not bad at all. Not a bad start. Invasion of Chaos. We hit a super rare Chaos Rider Gustav last time. Can we pull another epic card? Stealth Bird. And by the way, last time I opened these, uh, I opened these, what are these things called? Mystery Cues. People were telling me that the big companies scale the packs. And I'm like, they don't do that. One, that just is a monumental waste of time for a large company to scale the packs, to make like, for when, anything you can pull out of here, like an LOB Blue Eyes is worth like 30 bucks or something. So, and then like the worst, like Celtic Guardian is worth like two bucks or one dollar. So you're not actually making any more money scaling out the hollows. Like if you open the pack, you still lose money unless you pull one of the biggest cards. And it takes a bunch of time. So even if you do make a little bit of money, it's not worth the time. So big companies do not scale these packs, guys. They don't scale them. They, put, they just put them together in the mystery product. They don't really care what's in there. That's, I just had to get that off my, because last time so many people said it because just because out of four packs, I didn't pull a hollow. It was like, not every pack that doesn't have a hollow is scaled. Like, it seems like people believe that. It's a little bit crazy. So here, let's finish this pack. Ryu Koki, Anti-Aircraft Flower, Smashing Ground, Ultra Evolution Pill, Torpedo Fish, Tower of Babel, Chaos Greed, and Hyper Hammerhead. All right. 
Blue Eyes White Dragon, we have five packs left. After the mini rant about people talking about scaling all the time. Here we go. Forest. In warrior number two. Mammoth Graveyard. Gaia the Fierce Knight. Okay. Gaia the Fierce Knight. Ultra rare. Probably not the best card you could want, but I would rather pull this in an Exodia limb, to be honest. So that's pretty awesome. Gaia the Fierce Knight. Pretty cool card. I really like this card since I do have a PSA 10 version, so I'm kind of biased towards it, but that's pretty cool. Ultra rare from LOB. You cannot complain about that. In warrior number one, remove trap. Fury Seeking. So far, our our packs are looking pretty good. We've got four left. Let's do another LOB. We don't, let's sleep. Let's get down to one and one on Vision Chaos and LOB packs. Skull Redbird. Man Eater. Fire Yaru. Frenzied Panda. Trubin the Fire Knight. Remove Trap. Dissolve Rock. Dark Energy. And Fiend Reflection number two. Three packs remain. So far, we've pulled five good cards. And that's. Nothing to nothing to complain about out of out of the packs we've opened. So here we go. Larvis. Machine conversion factory. Monster egg. Raigeki! Oh my goodness, these are really good packs. Wow, Raigeki. I don't pull this one very often. This was one of my favorite cards as a kid, just because look at that effect. Destroy all monsters on your opponent's side of the field. I saw that and I was like. This card's amazing. <laughs> yeah, which it. I mean, it was good until recently. Like, it was still good, which is pretty awesome. Violet Crystal. Okay, so we've pulled absolute fire out of the Legacy Packs. We've pulled four foils. We've pulled an Epic Common. Let's go back to Invasion of Chaos. Can we pull a Black Luster Soldier just to top it all off? All right. Cannonball. Spear Shellfish. Soul Tiger. Yellow Luster Shield. Gigantus. That's actually a nice common card. Dark Diceratops. Dryceratops. Chaos Necromancer and Griffin's Feather Duster. Okay. Final pack of this video, guys. Mystery opening with lots of legacy involved. So I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I know you guys love legacy packs. I do too. They're so much fun. Even if they're not the original, even the reprints are awesome because they just bring back some epic memories and it's just a good time. Okay. Final pack of LOB. Let's see what we can pull. Root Water. Hit the like button for luck, guys. And Warrior number two. Larvis. Petite Dragon, okay, stop defense. Sandstone, Yamiruko, and Tripwire Beast. But overall, a really epic opening. Let's go over what we got. All right, from all this stuff, we got a Gigantis Common, that's a decent card. Cosmo Sword Troopers, I think that's just a guaranteed super, but I'm not sure. We got a Tune Buster Blader, rare. We got a Jizakiru, the Star Destroying Kaiju. I know that's a reprint, reprinted in OTS packs, so that's pretty good. Master Pendulum, the Draco Slayer. We got a Cosmo Joe, Secret Rare, that's pretty awesome. Mondra the 10,000 Hands Common, Chaos Rider Gustav Super Rare, Celtic Guardian Super Rare, Raigeki, probably my favorite pull from the video, Super Rare, and a Gaia the Fierce Knight Ultra Rare pull. So that was a lot of fun. Those reprint packs were really awesome. Those cubes, I still like the cubes. Oh wait, where did I put the decks? There's also decks. I put them somewhere. We got two Dark World decks and a Speed Duel deck, so pretty cool. Don't forget about those to include in the value as well. This was a lot of fun. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure you guys like the video and subscribe for that 20K opening coming up. So see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Peace. Oh! Yes. Oh. Elemental Hero, Dark Bright. Boom! Oh.